So let's go ahead and build the roof that's sitting on top of this yellow tower. Now before we actually do the roof, I want you to go ahead and do this right here real quick. Uh, what I have done is eight blocks down, let me make sure, yeah, that's eight blocks down. I, br I made this extend two blocks out. So count eight blocks down and extend that uh, section right here by two blocks uh, in depth. And then when, once you've done that, you're going to go up here and you're gonna count three yellow blocks down and you're gonna fill it in like so. So you're gonna finish in this top part of the area uh, just like you did on all the other corners. And uh, you're gonna stop right here. So on this flat surface right here, which is the surface facing the back part of the, the house, this surface you're gonna stop after you've gone two blocks in and then the rest is gonna be filled in like so, which is seven blocks down. So I'll go ahead and let you look at that real quick. Make sure you get that uh, exactly the copied way uh, you see it here. And the reason why I had you go ahead and do that now is because um, you can see over here that the wall is actually showing on the back side and kind of the corner. And uh, also some of the interior stuff that we'll do later uh, will have an effect with what uh, I just showed you what to do. So once you've done that, then basically what you're gonna do is you're going to cover, uh, you can see these white blocks, that's gonna be the rim and uh, you're just going to put it along the edge like you see here. So all the way along the edge, just like you see here, you're gonna put these wool or white wool blocks uh, and you're gonna surround it like this. And once you've done that, you can use black or gray wool. I use the gray wool because I think it looks more of a roofy color. If it's too black, then it just becomes, I don't know, I just don't think it looks as much like a roof. So I use gray wool and you're just going to, from the white border that you've just created, you're going to do the same thing and you're going to create a layer around the white wool so that you can see that it goes in uh, each uh, each layer and each layer that you go up it goes in a little bit more and a little bit more and then once you've gone up four layers of the gray wool you'll see that it actually turns into a square a uh, smaller square and then a two by two square so you just keep filling it in uh, I, I think that's pretty much as, as, as basic as I can explain it um, and just keep doing it until you have this uh, looking feature at the top. Uh, to know that you've done it exactly right, you'll know it should be two by two, four by four, and a six by six square on the top. And then from the bottom, or from that area down, it should just be, uh, you should see this little corner feature uh, showing up. And uh, honestly, this is the only way I could use uh, to make this roof look uh, pointy. So once you've done that, we can actually go on to the next part and do the the bigger roof. So let's go ahead and get to that next. The main roof is actually one of the harder things that took me to build. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, work through you, through it with you step by step. So to make it as easy as possible. So first, again with the white blocks, put them on top of this uh, this feature right here, uh, like you see. So make sure you 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 have this outline uh, of white wool uh, on top of these purple blocks. And basically, what those are going to be, that's where the roof is going to connect. And then you're going to do the same thing over here except you're gonna make it uh, overhang by one block. So it'll overhang on each side and then you can just complete it uh, by making it a triangle looking shape. And then once you've done that, extend each of these outer uh, wings or outer sides by five blocks in depth. And then once you've got that, uh, we'll get back to that later. Uh, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna start from the outside and work our way up. So first, on the, the full out, uh, outer part of the wall, you're just going to fill in a, on top of it, you're gonna fill it in with gray wool. So all the way around, you're just gonna add a layer of gray wool to the top part of the wall that you have already created until you have the feature that looks like this. And then once you have that, then we can go ahead and move on to the next part. So once you have the bottom layer of the roof done, we can go ahead and make a few more layers. Now what we're gonna do is go ahead and use this as a reference point, this little uh, peak right here. These top two, this one right here, and this one right here that I'm looking at, uh, you're not going to fill those in, but everything else below it, so the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven layers below it, you're just gonna go ahead and fill it in straight back. So you're gonna bring all of them back uh, using gray wool, from the, again, I'm gonna go ahead and say that one more time. You're gonna start where these white wool blocks are and you're gonna build back all the way and you're gonna start with the bottom first. Make sure you start with the bottom because uh, you'll reach the point where you have to turn and then you'll be able to do the next layer once you've done the previous layer because then you'll know where to turn. If you do it out of order, if you do it from top to bottom, you won't know 
when it's supposed to turn and uh, go this way. So just start from the top to the bottom and extend it from this these white blocks. I told you before that it was going to extend from these white blocks, but make sure you leave these top two and the rest uh, blank for now. So you're gonna extend these all the way back. You're going to turn, and again, this is seven layers from the bottom if you, if you are including the bottom layer that we did a second ago. And you're gonna bring them back all the way over here. And this is the part that gets kind of tricky. Uh, I had to do this just so I could make the, the roof work when I was building it uh, the first time. But for the three layers, the bottom three layers, you're just gonna bring them all the way to the edge right here and then stop. So you can see that this is all the way, you know, one, two, three, it ends right here. And then once you've gotten past the thir third layer, once you're going up to the fourth layer, instead of making it um, a depth of just one, so let me go, at, like right here, uh, it's one block, oops, I just fell, <laughs> oops. Okay, so like, as you can see right here, there's one block, then you go up one, then you go up one, then you go up one. Well, over here, starting with this edge, instead of going up one, you're gonna skip two, go up one, skip two, go up one, and you're gonna keep doing that with this pattern. So this side of the building will stay just, you know, a slope of, of one, one by one, but this over here is gonna be a slope of, of two over and up one. So, uh, and just keep doing that until you've reached this area right here. So uh, this will actually tuck right underneath this roof part right here. And then once you've done that, we can get to the next part, which is gonna get a little bit more complicated, but uh, should not be too hard. So let's go ahead and get to the next part. Now let's build a part of the front part of the roof. Now to build the front part of the roof, first again, get your white block and locate the spot right below the second window, two blocks below the most furthest part right of the window, so right here. And then go ahead and extend this all the way across until it reaches this point over here, which is, uh, you can kind of see right below uh, the edge of this roof right here. Uh, and then once you've done that, above that, so you're gonna go up one and over one, and you're gonna go ahead and build this uh, two in depth uh, row of gray wool blocks. So you'll see it kind of cuts off right below this window over here, and then it kind of cuts off right before the roof starts over here. So you're gonna go ahead and make it like this, and then after you've done that, right along the edge of this wall right here that you've already made, this pink wall, you're gonna go ahead and use another uh, set of white wool, and you're gonna link this all the way across until it uh, attaches to this uh, part of the wall right here, which is again right next to the window, to the left, uh, most bottom part of the window. And then you're just gonna fill it in with uh, gray wool, so layer after layer, go up one over one, up one over one, until you reach right up here. Uh, we built this five in depth uh, area right here with the white wool earlier, and you're just gonna stop uh, right when this last layer uh, of roof reaches this point right here. So make sure that it ends right here. Uh, we're gonna do the same thing on the other side, except it's gonna be a little bit different. Uh, we'll go ahead and start from the bottom up. Uh, go ahead and from this furthest bottom part of the, of the white frame that we did right here, uh, you're gonna extend this four gray blocks back. So one, two, three, four, and it should leave you a little area right there. Um, uh, which we'll fill that in, in just a second. But once you've done four blocks, then you can just follow the pattern and build it like this. So it's gonna wrap around, and then the next layer is gonna wrap around it, and then the next layer is gonna wrap around it, and again and again until you reach this layer right here, which will intersect at the, the end point of this uh, area right here, just like we did over here. So both of these white extended areas that we built uh, a while back will be connected to this area of the roof. Uh, and after you've done that, we'll almost be done because then all we have to do is uh, connect this area right here with the tallest part of the roof. Um, and then we'll have to do the same for this area right here. Um, but make sure that you fill in the sides like this. Uh, I didn't have you do that before, but go ahead and it'll be four, three, two, one, uh, down four, three, two, one. It'll look like a stairs, an upside down stairs. Um, and you'll do that on both sides. And what that'll do is um, it'll cover in the areas that you can see right here so so that it uh, doesn't you know bleed through or whatever you want to call it so once you've done that uh, we'll go ahead and build the next part of the roof linking uh, this to the rest of the roof so let's go ahead and move on to that part for the next part we're gonna go ahead and add two layers to each side of this little feature right here and we, you can go ahead and fill in this center piece with the blue wool the cyan wool 
um, for this little frame right here. Um, but what we're going to do is we left off right here. So we had this little, uh, at the end of this white uh, strip of wool, uh, it wrapped around like this. And now we're going to go up another layer, and it's going to wrap around that. And you're going to go up one more layer, and it's going to wrap all the way around so that it connects to these two uh, parts right here. So then once you go over here, you'll only have two more uh, slots to fill in. And then over here, again, we're going to do the same thing. We left off with this last uh, row right here uh, built. So this right here is going to extend and wrap around it. And then the one right above it is going to extend and wrap around it. So that's pretty fairly easy. Um, uh, if you need to pause the screen for any reason, um, that might be the easiest way to, you know, go ahead and pause it right here or whatever you got to do uh, so that you can see it clearly. Um, but now, now that we have that, we can actually go to the next step. Now the next part, we're going to go ahead and extend these next two layers up. So everything but the, the peak of this little uh, point right here. Uh, and we're going to extend it back until it wraps around this corner. And then we're going to go left 10 blocks. Uh, and then we're going to do the same thing for the other side. So you're going to build this out and then 10 blocks this way so it ends right here like you see uh, right here. And we'll go ahead and finish that up in just a minute. Um, and then over here it'll end abruptly right here. And then for this peak right over here, you're going to go ahead and extend this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 uh, all the way back. And then so from this, okay, I'll go ahead and repeat that again. So from this peak, we're going to go back 10 blocks. And then we're going to end it right here. And then from the from this point back, after you've built this little area 10 blocks back, you're going to have a, an area that is three wide, and you're just going to fill it in all the way until you reach the back part right here where it connects. So you'll have the, the roof will look a little strange in this one area, but from the ground it won't look very weird, and uh, you pretty much have to do it this way for it to, to work properly for this work. For this roof to work properly uh, basically when I when I was building it that's the only way I could get it to work so once you have that then we can move on to the next part and then all we have to do now is finish the top area which actually shouldn't be too hard so let's go ahead and get to that the the top part next so to finish up the roof it's actually not that hard to finish this last part up uh, we left off right here and then basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna extend it like you would uh, like you have done this entire time and then on this side you're going to have make sure it's two you know instead of one a slope of two over and one up uh, and then you're going to go over here and you're just going to wrap around and basically the way this will work is on this side you're going to wrap it around uh, so that it connects right to here and then you're going to go up one and make sure that it just follows the uh, the path that you've already created make sure again that this is uh, a width of two uh, make sure it wraps around perfectly so I'm just going to go ahead and follow it so you guys can see. And then, so just so you can see, on this side, now that uh, from this area right here where it's three wide, you're going to actually start doing what we are doing on the other side and start making this two, two, two. And you're just going to keep doing this over and over again. So right here, this will wrap around and this will connect right over to this little piece right here. And then for this peak, this is just going to, you know, the top part of this little point right here, it's going to come all the way to the end and wrap around both ways and then it'll just finish up so that it looks kind of like this. So I'm going to go ahead and circle around it a few times uh, so you can pause the screen, um, you know, do whatever you want. Um, I know it can be a little confusing uh, even when I was building it myself uh, it kind of got a little confusing. Um, so again I'm just going to you know circle around it a few more times. Feel free to pause at a certain point where uh, you you know get a good angle so that you know what you're doing. Um, but once that is finished, um, that will be it for the roof. That is all there is to do for the roof. And then the next part we're going to do, because I want to make sure we get the entire exterior before we go into the inside of the house, uh, is we'll do the back patio next. So we'll have that little incline, that pink incline coming out of the back. So we'll go ahead and do that next. So let's go ahead and get onto that. So now that we're done with the roof, we can go ahead and start on the back patio section of the house. Now the only dimensions you're going to need for this are... 35 and 7. So starting at the end of this side of the house, the right side of the house facing from the back, you're going to go 7 in depth. So it's 7 half slabs back in depth. And these half slabs are elevated a half block off of the ground. Once you have it 7 blocks in depth, then we're going to go 35 in length all the way until you've reached 35. So count 35 this direction, then you're going to stop. Which means you're going to have uh, 8 blocks over here that are not uh, used for the patio. 
So you see eight blocks of no patio right here. So once you've done that, and then uh, all you have to do is create these little, uh, what do you call them? I don't know, little steps, not steps. I don't know what you call them, but you're gonna put these half slabs underneath the elevated half slabs uh, like so. So you're gonna skip three, put, a, put one underneath the elevated, skip two, and then put one underneath the elevated half slab. So it's kind of like a stand to hold the, the whole patio up. And then you're gonna do the same thing on the other side. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna do the same thing right here, skip three, put one, skip three, another one, skip three, another one. And then after you've done that three times, then you're gonna skip four, do another one, skip four more, do another one, and then finish the pattern by three, three, and three. So that is pretty fairly simple. Uh, and then once you've done that, we can go ahead and add the pillars and the little roof that goes on the back. So let's go ahead and do that next. So let's do the pillars first before we do the roof. So the pillars, you're gonna, it's gonna be five blocks off of these uh, half slabs, and it's gonna be a white, pink, white, pink, white pattern. So it'll be a total of three whites and two pinks, for a total of five blocks high. And you're just gonna place these in the pattern uh, on right on top of the uh, half slabs that are supporting the entire structure. So you can see that they're right on top of these uh, half slabs that connect to the ground. And once you've done that, you can just connect it all the way around, and then you should be uh, finish with that and then after you've done that we can connect the roof right onto the top so it's pretty simple you've already got those half slabs uh, located so you know exactly where to put those pillars so once you've done that let's go ahead and do the roof next now that you have the pillars now we can just set the roof right on top of them now go ahead and look at this pattern right here it's, this is the side view and what you're gonna do is you're gonna do it's gonna be two blocks right here and then you're gonna go up one two blocks and then you're going to go up one and you're just going to be three blocks so you can kind of see the pattern right here very easy very simple and then you're just going to take this pattern and you're going to drag it all the way across until you reach the other side and then the only thing you need to know is that on the inside it's actually hollowed out so you can extend the topmost part of that pattern but leave the uh the inner part plain so you don't have to fill it i mean you can if you want to if you're in creative mode you can just fill that in if you want but in survival mode, it's just, it's unnecessary wool. That would be a lot of extra pink wool that you wouldn't need to use. Um, so you can just go ahead and leave this inner part uh, hollow, or you can fill it in if you're in creative mode. It really depends on uh, what you're doing, because um, if you're in survival mode, it's just extra work you don't need to do. So, and then the only other thing that you need to do before we can move on to the next part is the door. So um, for reference, you go one, two, three, four pillars so here's the fourth pillar that I'm looking at right here and then right at that pillar you're gonna go over one two and you can see that the door is lined up right there so after you've reached the fourth pillar move over one and then right ahead will be the leftmost part of the door and then one more block over will be the second most part of the door and then we'll put the door there later and then after that we've got the entire inside done and now we've just got an empty house that we can go ahead and start the interior right after uh, you've built this part um, and then we'll we'll go ahead and do all of the you know extra stuff. So you can see over there that all that there's a whole bunch of stuff on the back patio. But we'll deal with all of the interior interior sorry, including the patio stuff uh, later. So uh, once you've gotten this done, we can actually go ahead and start on the interior now. So we congratulations, we are done with the exterior part of this house, and now we can move on to the next part, the interior. <laughs> Let's go.